Oh yeah, I do look old. Oh my gosh, you look so wow. old. Oh. Asians do raise it. Yeah. Today we are filming the other half of my short film. Um, we are here at Central Park. This is Ron. He is playing my plastic surgeon. Say that again. Uh, BTS or the BTS? Zoom into the face. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today you are getting another look in inside my new short film that I am going to be using to submit to festivals as well as to film schools. Um, some of these film schools in New York require a full concept short film and I have learned so much during this process. It's insane. I've had to wear lots of hats. Now, in the real world, if I were working in film, obviously I wouldn't be the makeup artist, the set designer, the director of photography, the director, well, sometimes the actor and director. Um, and I wouldn't be the writer as well. <laughs> I wouldn't be wearing all of these hats. Probably some hats, but not as many hats. And um, with this second shoot, it was a little bit trickier because one, there was a FaceTime scene with my plastic surgeon friend, Dr. Carmichael, played by Ronald Yu. And so we had to look like we were in different locations, which we sort of were. I was actually across the street and he was in a courtyard and we wanted to create some contrast between the two scenes, one being more green and one being more industrial. And that's why you see me there. Oh, look, at, there's some background actors that are unpaid. Um, and then we move on to a scene at Central Park with Harry, the homeless guy, who once you watch the film will notice that he is sort of this entity, this friend of the devil that grants my character Julia's wish to become young and famous. And with that comes precautions as with any wish you or deal you make with the devil. And in this scene here, um, we were actually fighting against daylight. We didn't want to use artificial lighting just because the ones that we had would give it sort of like a deer in headlights type look. So we decided to keep it natural and um, increase the exposure. That way the camera could, you know, get light going in. And, but at the same time, we still had to fight against daytime. I think it was like six something. So it was close to seven o'clock. It was about to get really dark. Um, if I had to do it differently, I would probably like to start earlier. That way we could have done more takes. The takes were very, very fast. And this was the last scene of the script. So it was really important that we nailed it. And unfortunately, I don't know if we actually did. It, it, it came out the best it could, but could it have been better? Yeah, it could have been way better. It's a very intense emotional scene. And the fact that we had to rush it, you know, is a little disappointing, to be honest. But we did our best and we got it done. Now, this next scene is where I buy uh, some random guy's person's blood and I drink it because um, there were rules on, you know, or stipulations on 
how to stay young for my character because again she made a deal with the devil and so here she is drinking blood because that is going to keep her young however there is another caveat to this it has to be blood of young handsome men and she does not follow the rules so she ends up facing the consequences. Now, drinking this blood was really fun and I didn't expect, first of all, I didn't expect any of the special effects to come out as good as they did being on such a small budget. So for the blood, I used Hershey's syrup and red food coloring. The blood bag came from <laughs> Amazon. So thank you, Amazon. Please sponsor my video. And they were actually um, party favors that you could put alcohol in. So I have a bunch of that left over. I only needed one bag. And I had to gulp down this red chocolate and it was very, very sweet. And so the next scene shows Julia throwing up blood. That was also very fun. I got to throw up blood onto a rock and it looks pretty real because she um, ends up buying the wrong type of blood and drinking it. She tries to cut corners and she has to face the consequences. So that was really fun. That was the very, very last scene we shot until we wrapped up. And I did it about <laughs> three times. I wonder what people were thinking. I don't think there are that many people that late at night at Central Park um, but yeah, you get to see me <laughs> throw up in the scene and then yes, I got it all over my white sneakers, bad idea, and then a little bit on my white shirt. Didn't really plan for that. Um, oh look, it looks so, so good! But luckily all of that came out with a good wash. So another thing that was challenging was we didn't shoot the scenes in order. I tried to shoot what I could with the outfit I had on and with the actors in mind. So what ended up happening was I had this outfit on, but then I had to change my makeup. So, and I didn't realize how many outfit changes I had. So I ended up having to change behind a tree, like sort of, in the woods away from people. I had to, yeah, change outfits and redo my makeup. So I was like doing the young makeup, I was doing half young makeup, half old makeup, and then I was doing old makeup um, after that. So it was insane. And, and I didn't plan for any of that. We kind of just went with it. And then we were fighting against daylight, so I had to like do my makeup really fast. And luckily I had the old people makeup down pretty well. Oh, and then I had to add a rash to my face in one of the scenes, as you'll see. So that was another challenge on top of not having a bathroom to change in. It was crazy. Next time I'll have to bring a, um, a tent. And then um, this scene was pretty funny. It was with my friend Nevin, who does a lot of good comedy bits so that was fun to have him there he also helped with the film um, it was a great time and overall I think everything went well everything is coming along well with the edits and there will be a part three where I will be launching my movie for everyone I hope everyone enjoys it if you have any um you know, advice for next time if you're in film or you enjoy making films and you have any advice for my next film, I would love to hear it down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out my other videos with my special effects makeup. And then I have a behind the scenes part one. And last but not least, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys. See you later.